This is Tony Poulos and I'm at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. I've been very lucky today to manage to corner Gordon Rawling, who is the Senior Marketing Director at Oracle, just for a few moments. Gordon, welcome. Great to have you here. We're seeing a lot of action and mobile innovation coming out of the Asia-Pacific region, especially with regard to mobile data growth. Would you like to tell me more about that? I think data and, and the kind of pace at which LTE is driving into that market it is just, it's just amazing, the kind of pace of innovation that we're seeing the service providers being challenged on, but also the customers expecting from them as they look around the world and have such a wide view in terms of services they can get elsewhere. It's incredibly powerful um, and I think we'll start to become a leader in all territories around the world. Do you think that the Asia Pacific market underestimated the growth of data from the smartphones and their ability to perhaps monetize it? I, I think it's a great combination there in terms of the question that you asked. Did we underestimate? I think absolutely. Uh, I, I think that the consumer and enterprise desire for data services on smart devices is unstoppable in mature markets and emerging and I think the pace of work take is just incredible and, and what that's bringing together is really the need to try and think through well what are those services back to your point on innovation which will actually make me want to pay for these data services and, and not have this expectation that I just get these things for free and, and we're seeing a whole host of low-cost devices coming in which are just further going to accelerate that pace of innovation and, and then then it really is important that actually service providers have the ability to monetize the investment they've made in those networks to deliver that sometimes life-changing service. Globe in the Philippines was the first service provider to actually partner with companies like Google to offer free access to Google services, for example. Do you think we're going to see more of that happening in the marketplace? I think it's a prime example of where actually service providers and the enterprises they work with are maturing a lot more in terms of how they can help each other's business models work. Uh, be that through that kind of a model or models where effectively an organization might sponsor aspects of data for their customers. Um, and I think that's positive because it gives the customers the kind of service capability, but it actually starts to spread that value through the chain in the appropriate way. What do you think is the long-term growth potential for LTE in the region? Oh, it's phenomenal. I mean, we've done a lot of work around what we call the LTE, the Diameter Signaling Index, um, and this territory really ranks number two after North America, who've had a bit of a head start on this. And, and it's quite material when you then drop down to the other territories. So, I mean, if that trajectory continues and, and the diameter index is, the forecast we put into that is true, I, I, I think the future is only bright in terms of the potential that these data services can have for the communities in those markets. Do you think the speed of innovation will become more important particularly with regard to the prepaid markets in the Asia Pacific region? I mean, the sheer volume and size of those markets and the way they come together, I think, create some interesting problems. Uh, but, but there's also an amazing sensitivity as you go across the different countries into what is culturally going to work in one place and might not be quite so culturally going to work in others. And, and that kind of innovation which will drive through there, I think, will spread very quickly. Surely scalability is going to become critical as well. I think scalability is important, but I think one of the things we've got to challenge ourselves as an industry on is that we can move fast as well. Um, and and we've, we, I think we've proven that we can build things which are robust, networks which work, and we can't lose that. But we've actually got to move to times where we can actually turn over services in hours and days and, and move away from the kind of pace that we used to do as an industry and, and, and solve that problem. And I think we're very capable of doing that. Gordon Rawling, thanks very much for spending time with me today. That was most enlightening. All right, thank you.